he's a really, really solid businessman and just a, um, just a, just a great dad that I look up to and, uh, watching him be in the entrepreneurial realm. Um, you know, that's, that's probably where I got my start or that's when I started to want to be an entrepreneur and, uh, just to see that's, that's the way that it was done. Like I remember, um, like the, the nitty gritty of it, man. I remember we'd go in and like, you know, that we'd send mailers and like, dude, we have like a thousand pieces of mail, you know, like stuck out all over. Uh, he had a pool table in his office and like, dude, my parents would just have us licking mail. Like dude, me <laughs> nice. and my sister licked like a thousand pieces of mail. And like, we'd go home and just like taste that glue for like a month. Like it was, it was awful, dude. Ooh. But like, that's the type of stuff that we did to like help my dad and, um, and kind of like help run the family business. So yeah. Around that time, to talk, talk about so like high school or even before, where where were you? What were you doing as like side hustles? Were you kind of working for your dad? Were you what what were some of the things that you were working on? Yeah, so that that all stopped. So we moved down to Florida when I was about eleven, and and then you know the entrepreneurial. I mean that that's where the spirit was ingrained in me was back then, but then you know it didn't start to like come to fruition until I was probably probably 14 or 15 or so. Um, so some of the first side hustles, I actually talked to somebody about this the other day. Uh, some of the first side hustles that we did was, was um, on Craigslist. This was like, right. Yeah. It was probably 14, 15, because this was like right when iPhones came out. So like the first iPhone, the iPhone, like two or whatever it was called. Um, we noticed that like, you know, the, sh the, the screens on them would shatter so fast. Mm. So like one of the first side hustles I did that I can really remember was, um, was buying broken cell phones and then buying the screens off of eBay and then fixing them and flipping them because, you know, once they were shattered, people really like, especially back then, they didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. So they'd shatter them and then like, they'd let them go for like 80 bucks, hundred bucks. And the screens are like 20, you know, YouTube taught me how to put the screens on and then we'd go flip them for like four or 500. Were you selling so them back on eBay or were you just selling them? Um, yes. Or no, we, we didn't do eBay really. We'd post them back on Craigslist. Um, we'd post them back on Craigslist and then also like just kind of people around town and stuff. Like we never had like 10 to sell at once. It was only always like one, two, three phones at once. So that was, uh, yeah, that was kind of the, the first hustle. And, um, and then after that, there was a couple smaller things that, um, never like fully took off. I actually almost started an apparel company. So appreciated apparel was uh, a clothing company that me and a buddy were, were going to start and like, man, I probably pulled like two or 300 samples of shirts. Uh, we had a bunch of designs and like my buddy was an artist. So like uh, we had a bunch of designs and we're talking to screen printers and like I set up my spare room, like my sister moved out and I set it up with shelving and stuff and everything. And ultimately it was a very hard decision because like I really wanted to go for it. But the one like, like it was weird because I had I felt like everything I needed. I had the dream, the vision I had um, like the designs were sick. I finally found a good shirt that I liked, like, and I had everything I needed except time. Mm. And like, because I got the opportunity to go play college football. And that was like, it was that summer. And that was kind of the decision was like, Hey, should I like start this clothing company or should I go play college football? And they were paying for me to go to college. So, you know, it was strongly advised that I go to college, but that's what I wanted to do. Anyway. Yeah. Like, um, that was a lot of fun to go play ball.